Hey everyone, and welcome to the channel for a quick video covering some of my go-to places to farm up the very early quest items that you're gonna need to get through some of the starter objectives and open up the quest line so you have some more options for goals and tasks to complete, progress, and level up. In this video, I'm gonna go over several maps and some specific locations on those maps that are pretty reliable to find the early quest items like Salawas, gas analyzers, lunch boxes, Emelia, beef stew, flash drives, and morphine syringes. You're locked into completing many of these quests before you can get new ones, so it's helpful to have an idea of where you can reliably get these stuff. I won't be covering every area that these things spawn in, but focusing on some reliable places with lots of spawn points for these items so that you have a general idea of where to focus. These areas also spawn all kinds of other loot, especially the technical item spawns, which can get you some pretty rare and valuable stuff to sell or to upgrade your hideout. You'll also build up a good supply of basic things like meds and food to keep your PMC going, so these areas are just generally good to check in pretty much every raid early on. First up, we have my favorite map to farm early in the wipe, Woods, which is absolutely a hot spot for good loot early on because you don't really need any keys or special items. The first spot you want to focus is the Emercom Medical Camp which is a very densely packed loot zone with an absolute ton of medical items, tech crates, and food spawns. The Emercom camp is a gold mine for Salawas, Lunchboxes, Tushanka, and Amelia for Therapist and Jaeger. You can also find lots of morphine syringes here for the Therapist quest, gas analyzers in the tech and med crates, and even stuff like the new multivitamin item that you need to start up your med station. This area is a pretty big hotspot early on, so be careful and be quick, but it's definitely a great spot for quest items. Next, we have the village and the old sawmill on the other side of the map which are good areas to search for gas analyzers, lunch boxes, and general hideout loot. Check all of the houses in the village for toolboxes and loose spawns, and also check the top floor of both of the two-story houses to get yourself a cheeky spawn for the 3M armor that you're going to need for skier. Just up the road from the village is the old sawmill, which has a few supply crates and a bunch of loose spawns for tech items, which can spawn gas analyzers as well as lots of hideout upgrade supplies. Woods has loot at pretty much every landmark, but these three areas are a great start for specifically quest items, and especially the Emercom camp is a gold mine. Interchange is another fantastic map to look for early quest items, especially gas analyzers for therapists and all of the food items for Jaeger. For the gas analyzers, a good place to start is any of the tech stores, Rasmussen, Techno, Techlight, and the German store. You can find tons of good items in these spots, and gas analyzers are fairly common if you check all of them. The one problem here is that they're quite risky, so just be quick and careful and you'll get out no problem. The Oli Superstore is another great spot to check for gas analyzers. Just check all of the shelves in this store carefully and there's a good chance for gas analyzers, as well as tons of other useful stuff like fuel, hideout upgrade supplies, and more. For med items like the Salawa and Morphine, a good place to start early on is the Mantis Store, which has a few medical boxes, a bunch of loose medical spawns, and some electronic spawns for the gas analyzers. There's other good med spawns on Interchange, but you need keys for those, so I'm leaving them out of this video. The other really good thing about Interchange is the game guaranteed food spawns for Jaeger's early quests. First, you have the food corner as I like to call it in Goshan, which is at the very back left side of the store if you're standing at the registers. Head back to this corner and just start checking the shelves, and honestly you can pretty much always find all of the Emilia and Tushanka you need for Jaeger in one run, along with tons of other food and drink to sell or just to use for yourself. There's also guaranteed spawns for the Iskra lunchbox, which you need four of in the early game for Jaeger. Just look around for the small square black weapon crates, and most of these crates will 100% of the time have a lunchbox in them, so you can very easily grab four of these in one raid and be done with it. Like Interchange, Lighthouse is huge and has so many good loot areas it's hard to single out any specific ones. The chalets are full of valuable items, the villages have tons of toolboxes and electronics, and the rogue compound is absolutely stacked with useful and valuable items if you have the skills to get in and out alive. However, I want to draw some specific attention to the newly expanded area by the actual lighthouse, which I found to be an absolute gold mine of toolboxes and technical crates, which can spawn gas analyzers and lots of other hideout loot. This area is actually a pretty decent size and has lootable buildings on the main level and up on the cliff on the left hand side. Check all of these buildings room by room and you're pretty much guaranteed to find some good stuff including the gas analyzers you'll need for therapist. Just don't go too close to the actual lighthouse or you will blow up some mines and end your raid a bit prematurely. 
Next up we have customs, which you will end up on in the early wipe whether you like it or not to complete some quests, and conveniently enough you can get a lot of quest items by playing customs as well. The first spot you want to check is the crack house, which is maybe the best spot on the map to check early on when you don't have any dorms keys. In here you can find med crates, loose spawns for tons of meds, ammo, and food. And in the library, you can even get lucky and snag yourself an intelligence folder to build up your intel center later on. This spot is very contested though, so get in and out quickly. About 100 meters from the crack house, you'll find the fortress, which has some supply crates inside of it and around the walls, and some side rooms with med boxes, loose spawns, and some weapon crates. The fortress is really good to check for salawas and gas analyzers early on. You can find some rare items like gold chains and statues near the beds, so look carefully and make sure you loot up everything. Close to the fortress, you have another half-built platform with some med spawns and a supply crate you can check for gas analyzers. It's not as good as the fortress, but if you're in the area, you might as well check it out. Customs has lots of other loot, but pretty much all of it is locked away, so this is what I stick to looting early on for quest items. Reserve is one of the most loot heavy maps in Tarkov, but a lot of that loot is locked away behind closed doors, so for this video I mostly just want to point out a few key spots for you to check out early on. First, you're going to definitely want to check all of the tunnels that lead up from the top of the map and into the underground beneath the main courtyard. These tunnels have a lot of electronic and industrial loot, so they're a great spot to look for gas analyzers. There's about 5 toolboxes and lots of loose spawns, so look carefully and you'll probably get lucky. Next at the end of these tunnels is the Radicombs, the underground bunker, which has 3 supply crates you can check for various quest items. Up above this bunker in the main courtyard is another 4 supply crates, again with spawn rates for many different quest items. The thing with reserve is that every building is kind of its own hotspot for loot, so it's well worth it to just go into whatever building you spawn closest to and start looking into rooms to see what you can get. Keep an eye out for filing cabinets on this map, reserve has tons of them and these cabinets are a good place to search for gas analyzers and flash drives if you're lucky. Finally we come to Shoreline, which honestly doesn't have a ton of good spots for quest items that aren't locked behind keys that can be tough to get. What I generally use Shoreline for early on is to look for Skier's flash drives, which can be a real pain to get a hold of. You can loot 5 different safes which don't need keys, 2 in the cottages, 2 in the pier, and 1 in the weather station, which all have a chance to spawn flash drives. It can be a long grind sometimes, but if you focus on running these safes and then extracting, those flash drives will pop up eventually. Another good idea for Shoreline is to look up a map of the stash locations and hit those up early on. They're generally packed with pretty good loot and fairly safe to go and check out. Well that covers it for my quick and dirty suggestions on where to check for these early quest items that lock you out of the mid game quest lines. I really hope it helps you out and gets you those quest drops and some other good loot for your troubles. This is far from all the spots that you can find these items, but I very reliably get my stuff in these spots every wipe and they haven't let me down yet. Let me know what you think down in the comments and tell me your secret loot runs for early wipe as well. Is there anything important that you think I missed? Thanks for checking out the video, I've got links to my Twitch stream, Discord server, and Patreon page down below for anyone interested. And until next time, stay safe in Tarkov City.